It only took like, what, nine months, I think, but I finally have this one specific volume. Fuck yeah. Hello and welcome to this, my name is Adarius, and welcome to my manga haul of April. 2022. I am not gonna beat around the bush, I'm gonna dive straight into it because we have a lot to go through. I mean, kind of a lot, but anywho, here goes. And first off is a continuation of a series I already own and that is Fire Falls Volume 4 and Fire Falls Volume 5. So I am slowly making my way through Fire Falls. I'm halfway there for the 10 volumes. I'm not sure if I'm gonna stop after 10 volumes to catch up on the other series that I want to buy this year. I'm actually thinking just Whenever I have time, I'm just gonna continuously buy more volumes on Fire Force until I've caught up. But anywho, I already have five volumes and I'm looking forward to reading this series. I'm not in a hurry um, because I have a lot more else to read, like this last volume of the latest volume of Mashal. I have the latest volume of Soul Eater, the perfect edition. I have a lot of volumes and I need to read after I have reviewed Gundam The Origins, which you can see, just an update, I am now on volume six. So it's going way slower than I hoped for because I hoped now I was done, but I'm not. So there's that, but anywho, once I've done that, I've done a review, then I'm gonna read some of the other things I need to catch up on. So I'm just postponing Fire Force, which makes good sense because then I will have more of the series to read when I get there. But I'm looking very much forward to Fire Force, but I believe it's just wrapped up. So we'll get the last volume either later this year or during next year. So good time to actually start collecting it if I must say so. Myself. But anywho, for volume four and volume five, so halfway to the 10 and a sixth, a seventh part of the series, I think seven. Uh, that's 25 volumes out now, or something like that, so yeah. Anyway, let's move on. Fire Force. And next up is Mashal Volume 5. So, I got the latest volume of Mashal, which means now I have two volumes I haven't read of this. And I will get around to it again after I've finished Gundam. Just happy with the progression of this series, the release schedule of it. So these are very quickly catching up to the Japanese release. I think we are four volumes behind now, if I'm not mistaken. So the six ones should come out. I think this release it during May, which means that Book Depository will get it in June or July because Book Depository is behind schedule. But it doesn't matter. I'm just glad that we finally have the fifth volume. I'm just looking forward to see where the story will go from here on because they are doing this coin thing where I need to get all the coins to get, um, not a question, but get a, a wish fulfilled. So yeah. Anywho, if you haven't read the series, I highly recommend it. It is funny, it is interesting, it is a nice take on the whole shonen, shonen genre, and I just I enjoy this series. This is what I will say, it is enjoyment in manga format. So yeah, Mashal Volume 5, I'm looking forward to Volume 6, and I also, can I just say, I dig the visual style of the volumes themselves. They look so sweet, especially when you look at them at the spines side by side. But I'm not going to show you that yet. I want more. I want you to really show you how different they look. But I like the style. I like the look of it. That's all I'm going to say. But anyway, that is Marshall Volume 5. And next up, we have Solo Leveling Volume 4 in the light novels. Now, I was also supposed to get the Manwa, the fourth volume, this month. But for some reason, Book Depository then decided we're going to postpone it to next month. So it should be in next month's month manga haul. But anywho, I got the fourth night novel, light novel. <laughs> I got the fourth light novel. I don't know why that was so difficult to say, but anywho, I got the fourth light novel. <laughs> I'm looking forward to reading them, but I'm not gonna read them until I have all of them. Um, and hopefully when I have all of them, I will not have any manga series that I need to read and review that are completed, hopefully. So I have time to read other stuff. Also some of my English comics, um, more on that later. But anywho, I do like the style of it. I like that the even though that the color of the volume itself kind of shifts between the volumes, the style is similar and I like the changing uh, animal there is on the front. But anywho, solo leveling, the light novels, and next month we should get the manhwa and then we are caught up with solo leveling. And I have no idea how many that are gonna be of the manhwa, but a lot. And next up we have Blam Blame Blue Volume 5. So 
I gotta admit, I've been pushing hard for this series lately to actually collect it and get it out of the way. Not that I just want to be done with it, but it's to push myself to actually collect it so I can put it on my what I need to review list. I have five. I have one more volume to go because we are not, we don't have volume zero here anymore in English. Um, we used to have, but I don't think it's printed anymore. And even if it was still printed, it is not in this master edition. So I don't really care, but volume five, only got one more volume to go. And I'm looking very much forward to reading this series once I have collected it all. I'm just looking forward to collecting the sixth and final volume because then I will have all of Blame, Blam, Blooney Blam in the Master Edition. And then I might decide later on, not this year, but maybe next year, if I want the Knights of Sidonia as well in the Master Edition. Because those are also a thing. By the same author, I believe, Tetsumo, not Sutomo Nihei. About it, but anyway. Plan, plan, point five. And next up, this. This is the big one. This is the big one. This is the one we talked about in the intro. I have Inuyashiki Volume Ten. I finally fucking got it. I think. Has it been nine months? I'm pretty sure it's been nine months. I've been looking for this forever. It just went out of print. Back last year when I bought the last four volumes, so from volume five up until volume nine, six, seven, eight, nine, okay, six, seven, eight, nine. When I bought those volumes, I bought them because I could see that volume nine and volume 10 was out of stock. And then I've just since then been looking for volume 10 and I just, I finally have it. I just noticed on Book Depository. I've even ordered my manga collection. This is not part of my manga haul, the initial one I did. I just ordered it and then every day or every week I just kept looking at Book Depository to see have you gotten it because Right Stuff Anime said we expect it to be back in stock around this date and then look and behold they had it back in stock so I ordered it and now finally I have the whole series and it just looks so sweet when you see it side by side here. I love the colors and everything and which it also means that I'm gonna have to add it to my mangas that I need to read and review list, which I don't mind. But it does mean they would have to be pushed behind Parasite because Parasite was completed before this one. But it's okay. I don't mind. I'm just glad that I finally have this one. And it also means that when we take a look at my 2022 list, I can cross it off. That is one more manga that I can cross off, which I'm happy about considering that I haven't crossed off anything in the last couple of hauls, so I need to get going. But I also know that later throughout this year, I will automatically cross something out, like, of course, my Blade of the Immortal and Berserk, my Full Metal Alchemist, my JoJo's, and so on and so forth. So, anywho, I just, I just feel happy that I can cross something off. I'm just happy that I finally have this one. I don't have to look for it anymore. I know you can probably see it on my big ass smile. I'm just glad it's done. It is one more series. I don't have to think about collecting. It is done. It's completed. I actually also think this is the first time that I've been looking for one specific volume for a long ass time and finally got it. So yeah. Anyway, I still have one more manga series to show you and then something special that is not manga related. So if you don't want to watch it, it's okay. But hang on for a tight bit because Here's the final series. And that is Chainsaw Man Volume 1 and Chainsaw Man Volume 2. So, it is the year of Shonen and I haven't really acted that much on the Shonen part. I mean, I kind of did that when I got Kaiju number 8 and Record of Ragnarok, but now I'm adding more into the year of Shonen trope, so I'm getting Chainsaw Man. And also, I think it's next month or next month again. I can't remember, June or July we will get the final volume of Chainsaw Man. So it is a good time to actually buy it and complete it. So I'm I'm gonna complete Chainsaw Man this year. Hopefully, hopefully it won't get out of stock. Um, and then after that, then I can focus on something else. Maybe it will be due to Kaisen. I think after Chainsaw Man, I'm gonna focus primarily on Chainsaw Man, hopefully every month until I have caught up and bought everything and then after that then it probably would be Jujutsu Kaisen or Black Clover but I'm not sure yet but that is 
my manga haul. So as you can see, since I have now focusing a bit more on the Shonen volumes, I'm able to click more because they're cheaper. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you as happy as I am that I finally got the 10th volume of Inuyashiki because... Oh my god, it's one hitting list. I know I'm circling. But the reason I'm saying it is that I'm gonna dive into something not manga related. But it is something I've collected and something I'm hyped about. So if you don't want to watch that, if you don't care about that, you don't care about the manga, then quick question for you. What did your manga haul look like? And, and are you gonna get the Death Note short stories next month? I won't, because again, book post, so I have to wait another month. But are you gonna get it? Or have you even read the side stories of Death Note? I think it looks sweet, I think it looks awesome. I am definitely getting it, which is why it's on my list, right? But um, just curious. And if nothing else, I'm glad you stuck around, at least for this part. But now into something not manga related. So sit tight. And that is Control Athlete. 2.0 volume 1 which covers uh, 2012 and 2014 analog and d-pad volume 1 which covers the first three or four volumes of that as well as some uh, extra material in here like the unreleased uh, proto third volume three volumes of this series uh, before he rebooted the whole series he did three runs volume runs of this but yes and starcaster chronicles volume one which covers the first five issues of starcaster chronicles as well as some background materials in the back so in case you don't know control at the lead is a online webcomic site that has been around since 2002 and i got into it in 2006 i think six or seven around that time and in my manga collection videos I've always shown off a bit of it. You can kind of see the top right here, um, which collects the first 10 years. It's called Control at the Lead 1.0. And then after that, he rebooted the series, the author, and started new stuff uh, that he wanted to try out. And after a while, he had enough material to collect these Starcaster Chronicles, Analog and D-Pad, and the rest into these volumes here, because he wants to actually print and release it, but he also wants to separate it because the release rates of the series are different. So he did a uh, Kickstarter with these three books, uh, which are of course backed since I have them. And then afterwards he will probably release the uh, specific, specifically the Control at the Lead volume more often because it collects everything else. and. That one only covered from 2012, 2014 to the next one. I think we'll also do two years, so on and so forth. But I just wanted to show them because I ordered those a year ago. <laughs> and I mean, more than a year ago, I think it was February. And the reason it's taken so long for them to get to me was because COVID last year, as well as the Suarez or whatever it's called, the channel down um, between uh, Egypt and the thing that separates the Mediterranean and the rest of the seas, I can't remember what's there. Last year, there was this huge ash ship that just got stuck there. That, as well as the lockdown, delayed this whole project like half a year. <laughs> so I just wanted to show them off. If you don't care about them, then sorry. If you do, then I'm sorry it's too late to actually get them if you didn't get them. It is kicked out on. But I just wanted to show that off. But anywho. That is my manga list, manga list, that is my manga haul, my Kickstarter haul. <laughs> and I'm looking very much forward to next month manga haul. I've already ordered it and I think it's sweet. I think it's, I think it's good. Anywho, that is my manga haul. I have said that a thousand times during this video already, but this time I mean it. So your manga haul and also regarding the question for Death Note Stories, what is your thought about it? Come below and meet your thoughts, and as always, until I see you in the next video, just remember to, you know, stay awesome. <laughs> see ya. <sighs> Inuyashiki, fucking finally.